thanks for tuning in so I've got another crochet video to, for you today I'm um, just showing you the braid and pattern right now just simple straight back with a middle part um, yeah so I'm using serene curls from trendy tresses and this has like um, a pre curled look you know when you pre curl the Mali hair then you dip it in hot water and then it creates like these gorgeous curls that's what this basically is and it's so soft and it looks so natural so yeah that's what I'm installing today in the color 1b33 so I'm starting off with the knotless part and I'm just gonna quickly talk you through what exactly I'm doing for those who are not sure so I insert my latch hook make sure it's open place the hair on the latch hook and then I basically tie a few knots and yeah and then at the end you'll see that I'm gonna pull the hair that is on my on your right I'm gonna pull it over and then that's what creates the knotless look but I have so many videos where I talk about this in so much more detail so I can link that for you below if you guys prefer
okay so now I'm doing the main installation and you'll notice that I'm leaving kind of big gaps simply because one and um, the client doesn't like her hair too full and the bigger the gaps the less full the hair is the hair is also very naturally full so whenever I do the parting it usually makes the hair very full already because I'm not leaving any gaps at all so I'm able to leave gaps in the actual main installation and it's not gappy or anything like that Okay, so this bit is um, pretty much optional. I'm just separating some of the curls to make them less uniform and to give them a more fluffy look. But yeah, this is up to you, but I think it makes it just look a bit more natural and fun and free. Oh, t-shirt. 